Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and today we are going to learn about git add command. So in last video we have learned about the git init and we learned how we can initialize a git repository. So let's start with another command called git add. But before that let's understand why we need something uh, a new command git add here. So when do we, when we create any git repository, right? So we're going to add some files. Like suppose you are going to develop any app or any project or suppose you are working on automating some uh, application. So you are going to create some Java files, you are going to create some CSV files, you are going to create some Excel files, JSON files, etc. Right? So these file of folders are component of your uh, project, right? That is the starting point. That is the that is the common for any repository. So here, I have already created one project, uh, not project but folder, and here I am going to start Git Bash. And what I am going to do, I am going to uh, use the Git init command first so that I can make this plain repository to a Git repository or convert a plain repository to Git repository. So command is git init. This I have already explained in my previous video. If you have, if you are not aware of this command, please go and watch that video. So yeah, we have run the git init now, and we can see it has created the dot git folder. Here you can see. So let's add some files. Okay. So to add uh, any file or empty file we have or uh, let me use the create if i want to create any file so we're going to use the touch command okay touch command you can use touch is a uh, linux command which you can use to create an empty file so let me do touch file a dot txt let me get another file touch file b dot txt so you can see here on the top also you can see here we have two files called file a dot txt and file b dot txt so what is happening this is my uh, git repository okay and in this we have files so whatever we see here this is called actually working directory okay we are making some changes right we are adding files we are if we remove the files or if you modify the files whatever we are doing that we are doing locally okay so this is called working directory working directory by the name only you can understand where you are working currently working okay so it's local local to you o only you can see this one this directory okay so here whatever you perform that will be uh, under the working directory okay so git works in some different way means uh, we uh, we know like basic like if we have any git project we can keep that project to some cloud like github gitlab or bitbucket and from there anyone can use it anyone can clone that repo basics we know as of now so whatever we have done here this is only local as of now you can only see your colleague in your project cannot access this one because this is still local to you so for that we have some process in which you need to send all these changes to remote okay so we'll list that uh, remote part later but the first step we are going to learn that whatever changes you have done locally means in the working directory you need to add those files or changes or folders to another area called staging or index area staging is something called middle one middle stage okay so if you uh, let me relate uh, with some real time example so when you uh, when you develop any feature right and you generate deploy in dev, dev environment first once the developer done some basic unit testing, they move the code to QA, right? And where we perform some testing, QA perform the testing there. Means they have changed the environment. The same code base is running in some different uh, environment. Same thing here, before we 
push or commit the changes to some remote repo first we need to confirm or we need to add the files from working directory to staging directory a staging directory is something like uh, uh, you can say that ready to commit or uh, these changes are proper and we can move this to remote like that or you can see, you can also understand this like filtering out okay you are confirming okay this change are okay to go this change are okay to go okay so for that we need to add these files from my working directory to staging directory and for that we have a command called git add but before using git add let me show you another command called git status git status so this command will show you or will give you the status of your current repository okay means we have already uh, made this repository at git so we can run the command git command like git status and we can see here it is showing as untracked files okay so when you create in git repository that doesn't mean that git will start tracking all the files by default okay it will ask you to confirm what are the files you want git to be tracked okay that's why here it is saying that when we run the git status command it shows here that okay these files are untracked files means i can see these files are present in the repository but i am not tracking it that's why it is untracked file here okay so to to make this file tracked or to add these files from working directory to staging area we need to use command called git add so the command is very simple git add and you need to use the file name so what is the file name file a dot txt okay you can see if you if you run the git status command again so you can see here it so changes to be committed so let's not focus on that but you can see something green is coming here right and it's saying the new file file a dot txt here we are seeing no commits yet let me maximize it and you can see before running the git add command we see no commits yet after uh, running the git add command we can see here no commits yet but we have something to be committed so changes to be committed and here whatever file we added that is showing here and still we have un one untracked file what is tracked and untracked will uh, cover in upcoming videos but yeah if you if we have not added any file using the git add command git will not tag that one it will mark it as untracked file okay so that's why it is still it is showing so uh, you can add again git add file b.txt so if you run the git status command now you can see both the files are tracked now okay now we can see changes to be committed so here we use the individual file name to get it uh, committed right but we can use uh, some different commands in which you can add all the files at once means but before that just before that i want to explain another concept here if you see now both the files are tracked right by tagged by git or we have added the file from working directory to staging area now if i want to revert it back means i don't want to um, uh, add it to staging area means now i want to back the file from staging area to working directory uh, but before that you should know here when we add any file from from working directory to staging area that doesn't mean that in working directory will not find that file it is still there okay it is still there uh, but the file uh, earlier there is nothing in staging but when you add so that time in staging you can see the file has been added okay but after adding to staging area it will not delete it from working directory don't be confused with that so what i want to perform here i want to revert means i want to remove the file which was staged to working directory or i want to unstage the file in short so for that we have simple command called git rm rm stands for remove okay then we have one option called cached 
and you can see same thing it is showing here as well cached and then you can pass file a dot txt and you can also file uh, multiple files using the comma separated and you can see it's saying that remove file a dot txt file b dot txt okay so if you run the git stress command you can see both the files are now untracked again so we learn how can we unstage a file so instead of adding the file one by one you can pass the multiple file names using the like uh, white space means git add then file a dot txt file b dot txt okay and if you run the git status command again you can see both the files are tracked or added to staging so let me unstage the file again okay let me now if i if you don't want to give the file names okay and you want all the files all the files should be added to staging area for that we have command git add we have one argument called hyphen capital a just pass it and run the git status command again you can see all the files will be added let me create some files new files maybe touch i want to create uh, like demo dot java okay touch abc dot java touch um, excel dot gs so if you run the git status command now we can see we have three new files two are java files and one is dot js file javascript file so suppose if you want to add only dot java files you don't want to add any dot js file okay you just want to add dot java file for that you need to use wildcard character means use git add then put the star then give the java so star is wildcard character here yeah, it is going to add all the files which has extension of dot java okay just enter it and if you run the git status command you can see both the java files have been tracked or staging are in staging area now but dot js is not there because it is not satisfying your uh, wildcard pattern here okay so you must have seen uh, one uh, command like git add dot let me explain that what is that so let me create uh, another file let me like file c dot txt okay then we get status you can add all the files together using another command add dot because git add is the command so you need to pass dot so if you run the git status now you can see all the file have been added to the staging area the difference between git add dot and git add hyphen a is that dot represents the current directory if you have sub directories okay and uh, you want to add to the all the files from any sub directory so it will not add because dot will always uh, dot will always Uh, represent the current directory all the files and folders will be added to the from the current directory okay but if you use hyphen a then it will add the files present in any sub directories so let me show you with example so what i'm going to do uh, let me create a directory like folder 1 okay i will go, i will just switch to that folder folder 1 and i am going to create another file file d dot txt and some file e dot txt i will come back to my parent and i will create another file here file uh, cdef okay so if i run the git status command okay we can see uh, we have file app dot txt okay and since folder 1 git add comma is not only used to add any file but you can use is to add folders as well so 
file f is the new file which is not been added and folder one is not completely added that's why we are seeing the folder itself if i go inside the folder one folder one here and then the get status you can see it says that um, like upper directory like parent one in the parent directory we have file file app.txt and inside this we have all the all the files are untracked files okay see if you want to add everything if you use a git add dot okay remember git add dot and then the git status command you can see it added the uh, what are the new files with in the folder in the folder one we have file d and e now you can see file d and e were added okay but not file f which is in the parent directory why because when you use the git add dot command it will only add the files which present in current directory not other directories okay so let me unstage the file again or uh, or or okay let me go back to parent directory and let me add uh, let me get another file here or uh, okay let me switch to again folder one okay and i create a new file here called file k.txt i will go back and i run the git status command git git status okay so we can see it's added file app.txt not added and folder inside folder one we don't have added file k.txt but other files have been added now you can see the difference here it is showing a specific file when there were no file were added means uh, no file inside folder one was in the staging area so it was showing the complete folder itself you can see that here right but now inside folder one we have only added two files that's why it's saying that we have only one file which is not in staging area so for that if you want to add everything okay so git add hyphen a if you run the git status now you can see it has we it has it it added all the files from sub directories as well git add dot will work same as git add hyphen a if you are in parent directory okay if you are in the root directory so there it will add it will the behavior will be same but if you are in some different sub directories so always you will get add hyphen a to add the files from all the sub directories okay so i think i have covered uh, here uh, the maximum concept of git add okay but these are the basic things which you know and this is good to start with these concepts okay so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone